so hello friends welcome back and in this video we are going to see code forces round 659 so starting off with problem c string transformation 1 so first of all i will briefly explain the problem statement so it says that we have two strings a and b and what we can do is uh, in one step i will choose some letters like p1 p2 up to pk which should like the all values should be same which means that a of p1 equal to a of p2 equal to a of pk like all the letters on these indices should be same and what i can do is i i can replace them with any letter which is more than x so le let's say the letter which for which i am replacing is y so i will replace all these x to y and i can choose uh, these indices according to me but the only condition is that these all should be same so the final thing what what i need to do is i need to make this a a b to b c c okay which means that i need to uh, make the whole string a to the whole string b so let's say uh, i have to convert a a b okay to b uh, let's see again b c c b c c so uh, it says that if it is not possible to convert a to b which means string a to string b then i should print minus 1 so first of all let's see when it would be when it would not be possible to convert see uh, first of all what i need to find out is how many minimum steps are required okay so when i think of that what will be the case of minus 1 so first of all let's check that if the audio is coming yeah so what will be the case of minus 1 that i have some string like this which is a and i need to convert this to b which is something like this so all these letters if i make them uh, convert all these letters separately then my maximum steps required will be n which is the length of this string so if also like by using n steps also if i am not able to do this then like it's waste so i will print minus 1 so what's the condition that in spite of using n steps i am not able to do this so see if this is some letter let's say p and if it is q so if this q if this q is less than the p here then it is for sure that i would never be able to make this p to q which means that if suppose i have b and if i have a here so see i can i as in the condition it is said that i will choose some x and i will choose some y such that y should always be more than x but if it is smaller so i would never be able to transform this p to a so yeah so the minus 1 case is that when i have this string of a okay and i have this string of b then i will check each letter of this okay i will check each letter and if at any step my the letter of a if it is more than the letter of p then i will print my minus 1 because in in that particular case my answer would never be possible okay now i am uh, remaining with this particular logic that if i have a a b and b c c so how i should transform these that i should obtain the minimum answer minimum number of steps so the fun thing which strikes my mind is if i have a a b and i want to make it b b c b c c so the one thing which i can do is either i can make like the uh, i can make this a to b sorry uh, let me yeah either i can make this a to b or and i can make this a to c i can make this b to c so number of steps required would be 3 but uh, after thinking i know that i can do much better how i can do much better see if i had a a b and b c c then it is for sure that i can choose this and i can reduce all a's to some particular alphabet so what i can do is i can replace all these a to some particular alphabet which is more than a so it can be either b or c because see it is no use to make it any number any alphabet other than b or c because exactly see if i if i 
made this A to any alphabet which is not B or C, then I am basically wasting my step. So I will not waste my step and I will transform this A to either B or C. Now, one thing which should strike my mind is that if I have AA and if I make this to CC, okay, then it will become CC. But if you can clearly see that if it becomes C, then although it is right, although CC is matching, but in next step or in any further step, I won't be able to transform this C to B because C is larger than B. And I have this uh, thing that as I showed you before also that if my any letter of A is more than any letter of B, then I won't be able to transform my string A to string B. So, so it is very sure that so it is very sure that I don't want to transform this A to any letter which is highest in them or I, sh I should say that I will transform this A to the letter which is lowest in all its mapping. So I will transform this A to B. Now it is matching. Now I am only remaining with the further thing which means B. B, C and C and as you can see that I can transform this B to C so yeah now my all things are matching and number of steps used are two one for this A and one for this B now to make things more clear uh, let me take one another example which I made myself okay so yeah so to take another example uh, let's take example A A a B and to transform to B C D and C so see uh, one thing which you might you might say that I will make this A to B to C to D and to C so number of steps required will be 4 but I will say no uh, see what I will do is that I know that these alls are A so I will not waste my step and I will transform all these to B. Now when I transform all these to B, now what I need to do is I need to check that okay it is okay then I will say that it is B B and it is C C and what I will see that okay it is also B so I will have no like fault that if I make all these B's to C. So in another step I use so in one step I use this in next step I this I use these two and in the last step my C will transform to D so it is the last step so my answer would be 3 so the final thing which I would like to say that at, if I have any letters and I want to transform to some letters here then first of all I will check what is the minimum alphabet or you can say the alphabet with the least value and I will check it's mapping to B which is also least which means that if I have A, A, A here and B, B here. So first of all, I will check A which means the least in all this A string which is A and I will and it might happen that I have B, 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 C and D. So I will out of all these B, C and D, I will check the least one. Now what will happen is that if I have this A and I want to make this to B so what I will do I will do it and after that I will replace all these A's to B now the main tricky part is although the although we can easily think of this solution but the tricky part is how to code it so let's see the tricky part okay so if i have these particular let's say a a b and a c or you can say a d b c okay so what i will do is i will have a map of pair of character character and integer so i will name it as mp okay now what it is it is the a of i it is the b of i and it is the frequency of b 
these a i b i which means that the frequency of a b which is 2 frequency of a c which is 1 frequency of a d which is 1 frequency of b c which is 1 then i have and as i know that the map stores in a sorted order okay so if i have this so first of all it will sort on the basis of ai then if ai becomes same so it will sort on the basis of bi now i have the sorted order inside my map and uh, now what i need to do is that i will just iterate on this whole map so for auto b in my map and see as i said that if at any step i encounter any alphabet which means i encounter a so in the next further iterations i will have to change these a's to b's which means the mapping of the a initially i have to change the further mapping of uh, values of a to the mapping which was ear earlier of a so i will have another map which will store the character frequency which i have encountered up till now so i will name as visited visited will indicate that if my the letter a of ai if it is already visited or not so if it is not visited if it is not visited then i will just visit it and i will increase my answer so answer answer stores the number of iterations or you can see the number of steps which i need to find out so if it is not visited so i will mark uh, it as visited so rather than this ln let's map it with its original value which means bi so visit it here it 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 help us to do these two steps the one step is to check if my ai is visited or not and to also store the mapping of ai to bi okay very fine and here as it is not visited so i will increase i will first of all mark it as visited which means i will mark it to b of i and i will increase its answer to one because now i used one step now if uh, let me scroll it okay so how to yeah so let okay encoding encoding overloaded so i hope that the video was not like stuck at any point so yeah uh let me check okay so as i said that if it is not visited then i would do something like this but if it is visited then what i will do is i need to change the map value further back which means i will mark my map of the new the new first element and what is the new first element it is visited of a which is actually p so uh, let me erase it yeah so here i will mark my visited of a which is b comma it is mapped to c c and i will increase its frequency to like what is the original value it, it it was having so i hope that you guys have understood this logic so see visited of a will store b so i need to uh, have the mapping increase of bc okay so bc is already here okay and i need to increase its map value to the bc here so i, I am increasing the map value of bc with the like p dot second which means the original element as you can see that the original frequency of this pair which was ac so yeah i hope that you guys have understood it so let's see the code so as you can see the code that first of all i take the integer uh, string so let me check if yeah encoding overloaded for uh, string a and b so you might be wondering why i'm recording on the other laptop so actually i'm my older laptop uh, like it is not working so i have to use this laptop and 
the ram and the cpu in this laptop are not pretty good as you can see so yeah it might be the issue for encoding overloaded but uh, yeah it it might repair it soon but uh, let's hope for good so see first of all uh, i have this uh, my flag so the condition here it will check that uh, any element if a of i is more than b of i then i will mark my flag as 0 so if at any step my flag is 0 then i will print minus 1 else i will have my map of like this as i showed you in the explanation also so rather than naming of mp i named it as mp of c so if it is not equal see because if it is equal so it is of no use to transform the elements right so if it is not equal then only then i will transform these elements and then i will have my answer variable as i said that i will have a visited array which will uh, serve me two major things first one is to show me that if it is visited or not and other thing is to actually store the mapping of the, that particular element right uh, so I take like basically I have my map of C elements which is one pair and another frequency which is count then first of all I will find it and if I am able to find it so I will just increase my again map value because as I said that earlier I had a B so earlier I had a C but now it is transformed to BC so I will increase the map count of BC rather than AC yeah but if I encounter that element first time which means that okay it is not visited so I will first of all mark it as visited by mapping it with its value which is P of I and I will also increase its answer count because actually it is a number of steps which are required to have my answer so at last I will print my answer and that's it so I hope that you guys have liked it and if at any step if it is stuck then please do let me know in the below but uh, still like I'm not able to do anything because the laptop is not working and I'm using other laptop so yeah that's all for this video and if you liked it then do hit the like button and see you guys in the next video bye